for a lot of audience is ready. Judges, we're ready. Two minutes on the clock, driver's ready. All right, we're going to start this uh, rather brutal plastic uh, horizontal versus vertical. Again, plastic slash, these are 3D printed. Fight in three, two, one, fight. Robots. Those robots meeting each other, and no heritage already succumbing to that kind of undercounter of strength. Losing one of the supports for the drum, and now there's a the goal one, though. Killer Heritage not quite bouncing on the floor like I would have expected. And now it's like out, so fresh start. Oh, no more. We're just going at it, trying to take off the uh, iron wall. Let's just beat the wall. One wall. I was talking about the wall on Killer Heritage. Let's go. 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 let us go Killer Parakeet passed out to it. Save what's left. Grimace uh, comes over. So, Grimace taking a win on that rather than Rosal. 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 Killer Parakeet taking quite a bit of damage over there. Ultimately, the spring of the side. He's got three pretty robots. He's got three pretty In our one now, three pretty class. So it's not at all surprising when they have a They're also way accessible because you have access to a 3D printer and you have a 3D printer at your home. You can just kind of print your own robot at a computer. Frame has to be a 3D print, a weapon, armor, all the important. But then some